Es war sehr lang, also wir müssten gefühlt schon den längsten Weg genommen haben, eigentlich. Okay, ich muss es auf jeden Fall lösen. Also das nochmal starten. Now behave and follow me to the interrogation room. That hurt. Alter, ich muss hier eine 20 pullen oder was? Is everything I still feel also. I've had Oh, man hat jetzt einen Skip Button. Oh mein Gott, let's go. Okay, das ist jetzt ein bisschen chilliger geworden. Alter, das ist halt einfach RNG. Oder? We investigated so quickly that perhaps is there still anything? Ah, oder auch nicht, no Mensch. Well, we've discovered that. Oh my God! Oh, bro. Und das war jetzt Eintrag. Let's see if we can find any other suspicious points about this case. Ja, jetzt muss man sich das merken. Ich habe received a letter last night from Pierre. In the letter, Pierre stated that he had Was verdächtig an dem Brief? Auch oh, ein Tauscher, gute Nacht. Ah. If Bonnie had imitation synth in her body, oh mein Gott, ich gleich ab. she was a liability that had to be recovered at all costs. But if she wasn't carrying anything, then it would have made sense to tell Bernard not to worry. And thinking about it, Bernard only attracted our attention in the first place because he came to look for Bonnie. Could it be that the person who wrote the letter also knew nothing about Bonnie's whereabouts? Or they had a separate goal entirely? Oh God, das war's auch noch nicht. The Marachose Phantom found Bonnie and the Lefevere pendant at Pierre's residence. That was the beginning point of our investigation. Oh my God. God, Bro. Warum wird Pierre verdächtigt? Also einer von den beiden oder was? Ah. Why would he leave such an obvious trail for us to follow when he took so much care to not leave any traces of imitation synth in his home? Bitte sag mir, dass es das richtig war. Now behave and follow me to the Ow, That hurt. Ow. Nee, ich glaube, das ist wieder falsch, oder? Angemessene Vorbereitung freundliche Hilfe kann derweil das Ergebnis der Kontrollen beeinflussen. Aktuelle Kontrollboni werden zu der zufällig von dir gezogenen Zahlen addiert und beeinflussen das Bestehen der Kontrollen. Oh, 21, let's go. Thank goodness. Bleib stehen. Bernhard und Pierre, sie handelten nicht wirklich nur zu zweit, oder? Ich sehe. Es macht Sinn jetzt. Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> Look, 
Even our confessed criminal here has no idea what you're saying. Because he has been kept in the dark all along. And I assume it's the same with Pierre. Bernard hat geglaubt, mit Pierre zu kommunizieren und Pierre glaubte, Anweisungen von Bernard auszuführen. Während der ganzen Zeit wusste keiner von beiden, dass es da noch eine dritte Person gibt. Und die dritte Person ist die Gen Gendarmerie-Dame, die ihn gerade verhaftet. Elodie ist die Chef. Why did Pierre feel compelled to return to his Plot twist, baby. And make them so easy to find for the Marchose Phantom? Alle Tiere, die Pierre aus den schwimmenden Fässern erhielt, hätten direkt zu seiner Basis gebracht werden sollen. In seiner brenzligen Situation sollte der Anhänger des Letzter gewesen sein, dass Pierre darum liegen lässt. Both of these things are in stark contrast to his usual meticulous and vigilant behavior. There's only one reasonable explanation. He was following orders, just like Bernard. He probably received the following instructions right before the Phantom came knocking on his door. Bring the cat and the pendant, and our undercover agent will be sure to help you. Unbeknownst to him, however, the third person who wrote that letter to him had long decided to sacrifice him and Bernard to save themselves. Da sie die Fässer und Briefe benutzte, um persönliches Treffen zu vermeiden, hätte, hatte sie wahrscheinlich von Anfang an vor, die beiden zu verraten. What? You can't be serious. There was a third person involved? If you focus only on Bernard's ich war's. testimony, it's easy to believe that only Bernard and Pierre were working together. The case appeared extremely simple. Bernard did the trafficking, Pierre the imitation synth production, drugging and stuffing. Nachdem alles in die Wege geleitet war, schien die dritte Person über jeden Verdacht erhaben zu sein. Wait. But that doesn't make any sense. If that's the actual truth, then as soon as Pierre is caught, you explain his side of the story and the third person will... Yep, which is why the third person made sure that Pierre would never be found again. Once they had instructed Pierre to expose himself, the third person wrote to Pierre again, suggesting that everything had been taken care of, and he should take Bonnie and safely return to his base. Dann hat sie Pierre aufgelauert und ihn verschwinden lassen. Of course, Pierre's disappearance at such a sensitive time immediately made him a prime suspect. Knowing that Bonnie had last been seen with him, all the third person would have to do from that point on would be to lead the Phantom to investigate the Humane Society and get Bernard to confess the truth. Dann würde Bernard aussagen, dass es Pierre gewesen sei, der sich den ganzen Plan ausgedacht hatte und Pierre würde so aussehen, als wäre er in der Erwartung verhaftet zu werden untergetaucht. Wait, so you're saying... That the letter I received yesterday, the one that made me think Pierre was still alive, it was also sent by the third person? Is... is that what happened? I'll get back to headquarters right away and reinvestigate this case from the top. Nicht so voreilig. Chevra said that assumptions can be detrimental to solving a case. Someone among us, however, has been feeding us all kinds of preconceived notions ever since our first meeting. They suggested that Pierre's disappearance was an attempt to escape the judgment of the law, and that Pierre was a scion of the Lefebvre family. But if the disappearance is truly just a cover-up for a murder, then couldn't the true scion have been an illegitimate daughter, rather than an illegitimate son? Fräulein Elodie Lefebvre? Huh? Oh, wie auch immer man das ausspricht. Haha. <laughs> 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 you taking this joke a bit too see. far? You're right. I did let a lot of assumptions get to my head when I first started to talk to you about the case. I'll make sure to correct my behavior. You deliberately fed us lies, but even you could not control every last detail of your plan. There was a flaw in your scheme, and something didn't quite go as planned. Getting the Marchose Phantom to notice Pierre was only the first part of your plan. Had they failed to take notice of the Humane Society, they could have cast a wider net. And you couldn't predict what they might possibly find, if given enough time. This, of course, was the main weakness of your plan. Und in dem Moment, als Sonderpatrouille und Linny auf den Plan traten, wurde es noch schwieriger, die Ergebnisse der Ermittlungen zu kontrollieren. As someone accustomed to acting from behind the scenes, you didn't want to take the risk of personally proposing a raid on the Humane Society. So, you thought about pulling a few more strings, so all the suspicion would point towards Bernard and his society. Eine Möglichkeit wäre natürlich, Bonnie auszuschalten, ihren Leichnam bei Pierres Versteck zu deponieren, in der Erwartung, dass sie später 
aufgefunden wird. Once the Phantom expanded their search, it would only be a matter of time before they found Pierre's base. If a cat last seen with a suspect turned up dead at the imitation synth base, it wouldn't be long until the Phantom would figure out exactly how she had been mistreated and turn their eyes towards the one organization that has been sending boatloads of animals out of Fontaine. Gute Nacht, Tosha. Dort angeschaltet, was unerwartet im Versteck, Bonnie gelang es, in dem Durcheinander zu entkommen. It was probably during your ambush of Pierre. You didn't even have the time to check if she had already been stuffed full of imitation synth. Still, you soon found another opportunity. Before long, Bonnie had made her way back into the city, and even popped up on the Steambird. Like Bernard, you desperately wanted to confirm the contents of her stomach, so you hurried to find us. Unlike Bernard, however, you were hoping that Pierre did have the time to make her swallow a load of imitation synth. While investigating the suspect's cat, we unexpectedly discovered that the suspect has been smuggling imitation synth using living animals as intermediaries. That was your plan, in any case. With that, you'd have been able to lead the investigation towards the Humane Society. Gerade eine Werbemail von Thermomix bekommen, der Gemüsestyler ist jetzt reduziert. Alter, die haben mir kein Geld gezahlt, dass sie meinen Namen nutzen dürfen. Ah, Bonnie hatte großes Glück. Bonnie had managed to escape before Pierre was able to stuff her full of imitation synth. That part of your plan could no longer be carried out. But as shrewd as you were, you came up with another plan right away. You manipulated the Traveler and I to help you identify Bernard as a key suspect. Du wusstest, dass Lenny in dem Fall mit Chef Rosé ermittelt und du wusstest auch von der Netzbegegnung mit der Familie Lefebvre. Du hast den Lefebvre-Namen als Bait, um zu joinen deine Investigation. Mit zwei extra Bodies herum, die Special Patrol ist sicher, dass sie bald eine Note des strange Events von Bernard haben, um einen Grund zu suchen, um Pierre's Cat zu suchen. Ja, auch mal aus. Gute Nacht. Was du sagst, ist, ich ging zu all diesen Trubel, nur für die Chance, dass du die Suggestion die dich auf den richtigen Weg führen würde. Natürlich, du hast viel mehr als das. Nur jetzt in der Lumidus Harbor, warst du nicht die Person, die die Aktivitäten der Suspicious der Gesellschaft hat? Indem du uns die Logbücher des Hafens zeigtest. Du hast sogar die Gesellschaft der Aktivitäten der Gesellschaft während der Logbücher der Logs so they'd be immediately visible to anyone examining the records. Moreover, the logs contained no records of the Port Authority's activities. In other words, your activities. And what are you trying to suggest with that? I am insinuating that you had plenty of opportunities to transfer the raw materials for imitation synth from the harbor to a boat, and then sail over to the meeting place full of floating barrels. Sobald Bernard die Tiere in die Fässer gesetzt hatte, würdest du die Deckel öffnen und die Rohstoffe dazu legen. Solange du das vor Piers Abholung erledigt hast, würde es keiner mitbekommen. And that's how neither the trafficker nor the manufacturer knew there was a third person who supplied the raw materials and surreptitiously operated between them. Zuerst hast du dich mit beiden Parteien in Verbindung gesetzt, um die Rohstoffe und die Rohstoffe gesichert. Dann hast du Bernard angewiesen, die schwimmenden Fässer und die Tiere vorzubereiten. Danach hast du die Rohstoffe in die Fässer gelegt und verlangt, dass Pierre die Fässer abholt, um sie in sein Versteck zurückzubringen. Pierre manufactured imitation synth using the raw materials you provided, stuffed the animals and placed the animals back into the barrels. Having received the green light from you as Pierre, Bernard then retrieved his animals and shipped them out of Fontaine once he had received enough for a full batch. This is the truth behind your smuggling ring. I can't believe it. I never put two and two together. <laughs> You've sure got an extremely lively imagination. So, what do you think she's going to say next? Schon mal bei einer Karriere als Krimi-Autor nachgedacht? Ever thought about a career in writing crime novels, huh? Hm hm. It appears that it's quite easy to predict what you'll think or say. Then, if we apply that to this case, we can also think of a few places to look for incriminating evidence. You know very well that this case will not end until Pierre is found. So you will have him commit suicide out of fear and shame to end the investigation for good. That way, you can also pin the blame for the overseas smuggling activities, the theft of the harbor's confiscated raw materials, and even the Lefebvre name on him. After all, dead men tell no tales. 
but you still want it to appear as if he had sent that last letter to Bernard, so you have to make sure he cannot be found until after Bernard has confessed to the authorities. To do that, you either will hide his body until you found an appropriate time to set up a fake suicide scene, or you'll dump it someplace where it'll be hard to determine the exact time of death. Submerged in water, for instance. The location would ideally allow you to keep the body hidden for some time while also letting you keep an eye on it. An einem sehr kühlen Ort. There are only so many options to hide a person's time of death after all. As long as the Phantom investigates each of the possibilities in turn, they'll surely find Pierre's remains. Especially since, as the prime suspect who will now be taken into custody, you will no longer have the time to move him or set up a fake suicide scene to cover up the murder. How absurd. And on what grounds will you order my arrest? Don't think for a second that your spouts of nonsense will amount to any kind of real argument. After all, I'm... Elodie Lefebvre! As the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol, I hereby declare you as a suspect in the case. If you have any objections, you may raise them later during interrogation. Chef Rose, Linny, is that all here? That's right. We received a message from Lumidus Harbor that you were going to investigate the Humane Society. We didn't expect to run into you at such a critical moment. While at the harbor, we noticed something else extremely interesting. Apparently, you often used all kinds of excuses to swap your shifts. And if one were to match the times of your shifts to the activities of the Humane Society and those of certain foreign ships, they'd find them to be an exact match. That... that's just a coincidence. Yes, I'm sure you have already thought of a dozen different ways to explain away the suspicious activities. But as far as evidence goes, that should be enough to warrant taking you into custody. Don't worry. If it turns out that the guards are still unable to find any evidence after all this, Lynette and I will do everything in our power to clear your name. <laughs> Although judging by her reaction, I assume no follow-up from us will be needed. <laughs> the Lefebvre's were infamous for using disguise and infiltration to achieve their goals. Who would have thought that they would have planted someone within the guards? Judging from the timeline, they likely arranged for you to enter the guards before the fall of the clan. But they probably didn't expect you to turn it to your advantage and use your job to save yourself during the purge. Not only that, but you actively participated in the interrogation, arrest, and judgment of the Lefebvre's during their fall, thus clearing yourself of suspicion. You brutally and cruelly abandoned your allies as soon as they outlived their usefulness, just like a lizard cutting off its own tail in order to live. You've been doing this for years. So... so you played me like a fool after all? Uh! <laughs> <laughs> what was that word you used? Ally? You think that someone as foolish as him is worthy to call himself my ally? They were worthless scum, all of them. Not just Bernard and Pierre, but those Lefebvre's too. They always just saw me as a tool. I lost all my chances of a normal life just because I was born into their lot. Not only that, but because they wanted me to become an undercover agent, they stripped me of my name, too. Lynette I had to us. live in constant fear of them while they were alive. And even once they were gone, I had to continue to bury my heritage in my name. Always worrying that their enemies would come knocking at the door. Do you know anything about what I've been through over all these years? My life as the last Lefebvre? Nö, und interessiert mich auch nicht. <lacht> Blöde Kuh. Äh, es liegt eine Spur Dramatik in Elodies plötzlich aufbrausender Stimme. Es wäre ihr Wut Teil eines Täuschungsmanövers. I don't, and neither do I care. Ähm. Ey, sie hat genau das gesagt, was ich gesagt habe. <lacht> Niemand hat dich nach deiner Vergangenheit gefragt. Heb dir diese Rede für den Gerichtsprozess auf. Are you real? Aren't you a Lefebvre victim too? Elodie, 
You're the only one still living under the shadow of a name. That's enough. Keep your hands where I can see them and do not resist arrest. If you have more to say, save it for the interrogation room. What a joke. <laughs> what a joke! <laughs> hey! What the hell is this? Don't come any closer. What's that? An dem Apparat ist irgendwas seltsam. Das kleine Gerät, das Edo dir hervorhörte, war sehr schlicht, als wäre es nur aus Pappmaché. No <lacht> I've secretly planted loads of explosives in the humane society. Just one step closer and whether they're cats, dogs or just unlucky human employees. They'll all be blown up into smithereens. <lacht> She's actually Surely evil, you man. You goody two shoes won't let that happen, right? Alter, what? Uh, ich würde sagen, schleichen. Easy. Ohne darauf zu warten, dass Elodie ihre Drohung im Bänder greift, Lenette und du mit einem Schlag an. What? Hey, don't do anything stupid. Guards! Gardamax! Wer wurde jetzt niedergeprügelt? Greif es, die ein Befehl rufen, wer wird sich von dir und Lynette überwältigt? Phew. So, I was right after all. It's easier to deal with the person causing the problem than the problem itself. Was mit dem Auslöser, den sie da hatte? This is it. Looks like it's just a toy. Also war das nur ein Bluff. I guess that's probably why she suddenly flipped and knocked out Bernard. He probably knew that there were no explosives at the society. Und da tat sie auch noch, als hätte sie einen totalen Zusammenbruch, als ob sie fürchtete, keine andere Wahl zu haben, als zu handeln, um all dem zu entkommen. Well, given that she never even showed her face to Bernard and Pierre, I had my doubts that she'd have gone to the society in person to plant explosives. Thank you for your help, everyone. I'll take them back for thorough questioning and find someone better to take over the Humane Society. I might need a few statements from everybody. Would you be able to come with me? No. Uh, if ich bin statements busy. are all you need, can Lenny provide them on my behalf? I still need to go back and explain some things to the crew. I also had an appointment with the traveler before we got interrupted. T. Eine Verabredung wann? Uff. Was? A lot has happened since then. Rip. I'm referring to when I invited you over for some tea and also to spend some time with Bonnie. Once I'm done talking with the troop, I'll take Bonnie home and make a nice cup of tea. You'll be able to find us outside of my door. Bisschen Tee trinken mit der guten alten Lynette. Well, 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 well. Next on the agenda. Und nicht zu vergessen natürlich Bonnie. Bonnie Thompson. Das ist ungefähr der ungemütlichste Ort, um Tee zu trinken. Truly the best combo for standby mode. Want some? Ein süßes Kätzchen bitte. Das kann auch falsch verstehen. I see she's already starting to snuggle up to you. Interessiert dich nicht, wie es damit weitergeht in dem Fall mit Elodie? Not at all. Information is indeed very important. But if you were to try to collect every piece of information you come across, your efficiency would actually decrease. Plus, if you just think about it, what sounds more fun? Writing a statement or enjoying a tea party? <laughs> Die süße Katze. Great answer. That'd be my pick too. Had we not run into that case, we could have spent the entire day like this. <sighs> But now I'm running low on both time and energy. Das Entscheidende ist nicht, wie lange du im Bereitschaftsmodus bist. Mit gut verbrachter Zeit soll sich deine Energie deutlich schneller wieder aufladen. You're right. I can sense it. I'm recharging very quickly at the moment. Trotzdem noch eine Frage: Wann hast du angefangen, Elodie zu verdächtigen? Hmm. Something about her rubbed me the wrong way since the very beginning. 
but to be more precise, it was probably around the time when I saw Bonnie try to get away from her. Kannst du mir einfach zuschicken, Terra Nord. Ich zahle auch 6 Mio. Sind ja eh nur 6 Stück. Ähm, nachdem Bernhard verhaftet wurde, damals wollte Elodie sich Bonnie annähern. Elodie tried to get close, but Bonnie deliberately dodged her. Maybe Bonnie had tried to evade her before at Pierre's base. Or perhaps Bonnie just instinctively knew that she wasn't a good person. Not everyone who likes cats is a good person. But if cats like you, you're probably all right. Die kann man zuschicken, Terranor, ja. Schick sie einfach an E-Sportler. Das könnte stimmen. Humans tend to overthink things, but cats rely on their instincts. And they're pretty sharp. I mean, just look at Bonnie. She took a liking to you the moment you met. Hey. 